Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them and teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you, says the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Welcome to Mass today on this Feast of St. Matthew, the Apostle and Evangelist. Welcome if you are participating via the internet. Uh, please pray for us as we pray for you. Uh, there is some scaffolding uh, being taken down uh, from the this uh, south side of the church, so I'm afraid there is a bit of noise extraneously. Um, please uh, bear with that. We offer this Mass for all those churches and religious institutions under the patronage of St. Matthew. So, brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind and confess our sins, saying together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through jesus christ our lord amen in honor of matthew we say glory to god in the highest and peace to his people on earth lord god heavenly king almighty god and father we worship you we give you thanks we praise you for your glory Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O Almighty God, whose blessed Son called Matthew the tax collector to be an apostle and evangelist, give us grace to forsake the selfish pursuit of gain and the possessive love of riches that we may follow in the way of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Since it is by God's mercy that we are engaged in this ministry of the Spirit, we do not lose heart. We have renounced the shameful things that one hides. We refuse to practice cunning or to falsify God's word. But by the open statement of the truth, we commend ourselves to the conscience of everyone in the sight of God. And even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. In their case, the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers 
to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For we do not proclaim ourselves, we proclaim Jesus Christ as Lord and ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. For it is the God who said, let light shine out of darkness, who has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, happy are those who find wisdom. Happy, happy are those who find wisdom. You have dealt graciously with your servant according to your word, O Lord. O teach me true understanding and knowledge, for I have trusted in your commandments. Happy, happy are, are those, those who, who find, find wisdom. wisdom. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are gracious and do good. O Lord, teach me your statutes. Happy, Happy are, are those, those who, who find, find wisdom. wisdom. The proud have smeared me with lies, but I will keep your commandments with my whole heart. Their heart has become gross with fat, but my delight is in your law. Happy, Happy are, are those, those who, who find, find wisdom. wisdom. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is dearer to me than a hoard of gold and silver. Happy, Happy are, are those, those who find, find wisdom. wisdom. Almighty God, cleanse my heart and my lips that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Happy are those who find wisdom and those who get understanding. She is more precious than jewels and nothing you desire can compare with her. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax booth, and he said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. As he sat at dinner in the house, many tax collectors and sinners came and were sitting with him and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard this, he said, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please sit down for a moment. And I'll just read the preface to uh, the readings for today out of this liturgical text. Matthew appears in the list of the 12 apostles of Jesus and according to the gospel written under his name, he was a tax collector. Mark and Luke called the tax collector Levi, and it has been assumed that they are one and the same. This occupation, being a tax collector, was despised by his fellow Jews as a betrayal to the occupying Roman force. But Christ showed that judging by outward appearance was not what he was about. He ate with Matthew and with his friends, scandalizing those around him, as we heard. Matthew followed at his call, and this was enough for Jesus, for he had drawn someone back to God. He was forgiven. Therefore, he was acceptable. Therefore, 
he was received. That, of course, is the pattern for every single one of us. We are all forgiven. We are all received into the body of Christ. So we give thanks for Matthew, the tax collector, that his life was changed by his encounter with Jesus Christ. And we pray that our lives too may be changed by our encounter with him. We give thanks for the gospel of Matthew, for all that it seeks to teach us about the Messiah and those texts in the Old Testament which point towards him. And we pray for parishes, for religious organizations and institutions under the patronage of Matthew. And I pray especially for the parish of St. Matthew in Carver Street in Sheffield, where I learnt the Catholic faith. Pray for their parish priest and for the congregation in that inner city parish. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our world, especially for all those who have power and influence in the nations of the world. We pray for those preparing for the upcoming climate change conference to be held in Glasgow. We pray for the international community in its dealings with Afghanistan and the Taliban. We pray for all who are refugees from that situation. For all who are fearful and for all those in our world who live with the threat of violence and conflict. And let us pray too for those who are persecuted for their faith and for conscience sake. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those participating in this Mass through the internet, for that wider community that this church ministers to. And we pray for our parish family, for all who live and work within the boundaries of this parish, especially remembering our parish school of St. John the Evangelist, all those who teach and all those who learn in that place. We pray that our communities may be places where we learn to place the roots of our lives in the rich soil of the gospel's truths and values. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And in our daily prayer for those in need, we remember Dennis, Finlay, Julie, Jill, Tony, Anne. Marjorie, David, Jane, Julia, Hannah, Terence, Dorothy, Heather, Mike, Liz, Joanne, Tim, Cecily. We pray for all who watch and wait with them. And in our prayers for the departed, we remember Moira Luxton, who has died recently, and Edith Emily Francis Tucker on this, the anniversary of death, and Gladys Evelyn James. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. And so we commend the living and the departed to the gracious intercession of Mary, the mother of the Lord, as we say. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. 
Amen. And finally, we offer to God our own personal prayers in a moment of silence. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We are the body of Christ by one Spirit. We were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and this wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself and shares in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sinfulness. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate anew the memory of St. Matthew, we bring you sacrifices and prayers, O Lord, humbly imploring you to look kindly on your church, whose faith you have nourished, by the preaching of the Apostles, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name for ever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, 
which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice, with praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, of St. Matthew, of St. John the Evangelist, and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him that takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. I did not come to call the just but sinners 
says the Lord. body of Christ. Let us pray. Lord God, the source of truth and love, keep us faithful to the Apostles' teaching and fellowship, united in prayer and the breaking of bread, and one in joy and simplicity of heart, in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May God give us grace to follow his saints in faith and hope and love. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, come down upon you to remain with you always. Amen. So once again, apologies for the scaffolders. Uh, necessary work has to be done. Enjoy the feast day. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.